Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where today we are gonna go searching the junkyard for a classic. No way, first try? This is our Honda S2000. Hello, buddy. They only want 12 grand? Bro, it's got more mileage than your mom. How is this good? Oh, this isn't a good start. I think it's safe to say our little Honda S2000 has seen better days. 12,000 credits. I know right now the Honda S2000 doesn't look very good, but there is a ton of customization for this car. But obviously, before we get to that, we need to repair the thing. Wash up the car. Is it a red S2000? Oh no, it's a silver S2000. Oh my god, look at the rust. Chat says you're probably gonna get beat by a Prius again. <laughs> you shut your mouth. I promise when we go drag racing, we will not lose. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Snick having a skill issue by getting rammed off yet another bridge by golden railgun. So this welder should get rid of a bunch of the rust for 1,500 bucks. But look at that engine bay. That's already a lot better. Our fenders still have to go though. So we can push that back to where it came. And let's bring the S2000 up into the air. You have no idea how much I like the Honda S2000. I'm not even a Honda simp. I'm just able to respect that the Honda S2000 is a fantastic vehicle. This thing is bad. No wonder it was only 12K. I know you Usually around here, we like to go, haha, ha, very funny, let's do the used car special. Not for this. I honestly don't know what engine we will swap into this thing. That is a question for future me. We could swap in like a four-cylinder, a six-cylinder, but it might be kind of cool to V8 swap a Honda S2000. Actually, it would be really cool to swap an engine with a massive blower sticking out of the hood. We'll come back to that idea. We'll see what's possible. And on today's episode, Nick makes a fast car but still can't beat a Prius. We lost to a Prius once. It's not gonna happen again. Anyways, there's all the front suspension gone. Before we move on, let's drain the oil. That's assuming there's even oil. That was a silly assumption to make. There's so many parts in this suspension. Beautiful. Remove that rear sway bar and then say goodbye to the cross member. And I think everything's gone. Engine crane, yoink the engine out. Thank you very much. Should we start with the engine or start with the suspension? I think we've really got to go sus suspension because Twitch chat is just overly sus today. Nothing to see here. Casually saving money. One brake caliper repair at a time. <laughs> Welcome to today's episode of Nick losing his house again by turning a car into a freaking airplane. Hope everyone enjoys Nick's sanity plummeting to a dire level. Monsieur Jean-Pierre does not approve of your shenanigans. Why am I just getting bullied by chat today? All right, let's get all of these parts installed. And now after I've repaired everything, we should have a ton of parts that we can throw onto this thing. We're actually gonna make a ton of money on this car. I've only bought the car for 12K. I've spent 1,500 using the welder. Yo, this is gonna be mega, mega amounts of money. All right, is that the front suspension done? What, it feels like I'm missing like so many parts when I build the car that fast, but the front suspension's already done. Guess we should now get our engine in? I think this car would look so sick with the big blower sticking right out of the hood. I think we have to go V8. Let's go V8. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So it's the V8 two carb OHV supercharged. We've got to go to our parking garage and we are going to steal that engine from this. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Or also extremely sus. There is our engine. Yes. Let's go. I think think this is gonna work. Pull the engine out. The engine is gone from our little E30. You know what? We can actually sell this thing now since I'm never gonna use it again. 47,000 bucks for that. Not bad. All right, engine crane install our supercharged V8. Let's go. Install. Oh, what? What? <laughs> It's facing the wrong way again. I can fix that. I promise. For now, though, let's get a gearbox and stuff on. Anyway, since we're working under the car and we at least kind of have the engine in, I guess I should get the exhaust in. You know what? I'm also going to get these parts from the performance shop to get extra horsepower. This is going to be good. Get our muffler installed. Beautiful exhaust pipe. Get that installed. Before anybody points out any other flaws with my vehicle, I will lower it down and I will get everything in my engine bay installed. A few... Wait. 
Another fuse. Wait, what? There's two fuse boxes on this car? Why does a Honda S2000 have two fuse boxes? Oh, boys, I bottled. I tried to fix the engine, but I made it worse. Nothing to see. I hear reverse intakes are the new trend. It's what big car doesn't want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now it's better. Now our engine is at least facing the right direction. We've got everything on for our engine bay and our suspension. I think it's time to get our fenders on. And then we can get our wheels on. And then we can go and do some proper customization. Take a look at how many different fenders there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. What are we gonna use? Voltex part? That's sick. APR's even got parts. Okay, I gotta check some of these out. Let's check out that one. APR fender. Oh, that is wide. Oh, that is so wide. That is way too wide. That doesn't look good. Oh, Voltex actually looks a little bit better. It's also equally as wide, if not wider, but that wide body just looks so much better on there. What about Pandem? Pandem always makes cool stuff. That's a proper wide body kit. Oh, that's sick as well. And then last but not least, JS Racing. Oh, that's so clean. Oh, JS Racing is clean. A lot of Twitch chat actually wants JS Racing. I like it. JS Racing is probably the cleanest one. Obviously, we're going to need some tires that actually fill out our arches, so that's going to be important. Let's do the same thing for the rear. I'm going to go race tires. I think race tires is going to be the place for this. Then let's go 18-inch rims. I feel like that'll be good. And then our fronts, let's make them 245. And then our rears, our rears are going to have to be a lot bigger. So again, let's go 18-inch rims. But because they're so wide body, let's go 345. We definitely shouldn't get any wheel spin now that's for sure oh please don't stick out please don't stick out please please fit oh my god it fits there's a tiny bit of poke but that's fine bro what a sick looking car this rear fender actually works really nicely let's start with the rear of the car and work our way forward i think that should actually work yo that does work with our rear fenders. Right, let's get some tail lights and a trunk. Oh my god, look at how many trunk options there are. There we go. Simple, keep it looking clean. I don't actually know what these are. Oh, I guess that's actually for like the trunk. I guess that's kind of cool. We can get the veil side rear wing from Fast and Furious. Okay, we gotta check that. We've even got the Too Fast, Too Furious one. Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh, that actually kind of works. Oh, that... Oh, that kind of... It's maybe a little small. Oh, yeah. Top secret always makes cool stuff. Doors, I'm going to keep super normal. Let's just get Fast and Furious one. Oh, that's... Yep, 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 yep. That's the play. Oh, that'll be perfect to have the blower come through the hood. Headlights, I'm going super standard again. Headlight C. Then I think we can also check Mugen. Mugen again makes cool stuff. And top secret, one of those will look good. Fast and Furious. Oh, the Fast and Furious. Oh. Oh, yo, the Fast and Furious one. War I'm going with that. There we go. I think that's it for our customization. That's awesome. Oh, actually, no. I missed one thing. There's actually an exhaust we can get on down here. I just need some massive fart cannons. I don't know what to tell you. I made my engine slightly bigger, and I nailed it. I na It looks like a clown car, but... I <laughs> Maybe red? Red looks pretty good. Red looks really good, actually, with the interior. Ignore my neon. Have I missed any parts? Will the car stop? What did I forget? What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> hey. As it turns out, having fuel is a pretty important part of having a car. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that dino graph. That's got to be mega horsepower. Uh 1,500 horsepower. It's time to go and race a Prius. All right, where's my Prius? Wait, that's not a Prius. That's not a... None of these are Prius. That, <laughs> hey, there we go. Handbrake on. Rev it up. Light. And away we go. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. Everyone's going to make fun of me again. Everyone's gonna make fun of me. It did zero to 60 in two seconds flat. When in doubt, blame the gears. It's just fine. Now with some new gear ratios. Rev it up. Lights. And away we go. 
I'm gonna go get all-wheel drive. I might have not only changed it to all-wheel drive. I might have done some more upgrades. Welcome to a 3,000 horsepower Honda S3000. Big brain. <laughs> Handbrake is on, rev it up, there are the lights, and away we go. I've made it worse. I've actually made it worse. Please tell me I can beat the charger. Rev it up. Lights, and away we go. The charger was even faster than the Prius. Here we go, baby. 420 kilometers an hour and still accelerating. We might have taken an L in the drag racing, but boy, do we take a fat W in the top speed. 520 kilometers an hour. That's 300 miles an hour. We might have taken an L on the drag racing. We take a W for the top speed. Do we take a W for the sale price? 147,000. Let's go. Welcome to how to make money.